All right. I'm going to start on the uh, spear. And then I'm going to start on the uh, bow and scabbard. Time to play with some clay. I flattened out a piece of this uh, monster clay and I'm going to wrap it around this fondue stick. I don't want the uh, spear to be too thick and the fondue stick is just about at the limit of how thick I want it. But I want to use a fondue stick because wire will have a tendency to bend. And I don't want that. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm making the spear head. It's going to be hard for you to see what exactly I'm doing. Let's see if I can get underneath the lens. I can't. I let me try, try to do this. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. If I get it to where you can see it, I can't. <laughs> so. I'll come back when I get this worked out. <laughs> okay, I've got these feathers I made uh, for his headdress. And I think I'm going to use them on this sphere. I've got to take off some of this wire because I don't need it all. Like I said, I can't show you properly what it looks like I'm doing because I've only got one camera but anyway and I've got this one wire that I'm going to just wrap around the uh, spear like this that should hold it the feathers on there the, the idea is trying to get something to work as far as uh, attaching things to something. And I think that works out just fine. I don't know how long it'll stay that way, but the wire does it. it painting these feathers uh, like I did, this, these feathers are made out of the same material, the uh, Super Sculpty. And uh, let's see what it looks like on the clay. Now, this is not the shield, but it's the same size as the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to make the shield out of the same material as the uh, super with the uh, super sculpty instead of the regular clay. That actually looks really good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's see what it looks like all the way around. Okay, that's what it looks like on the clay. It actually looks really good. I've got to put some detail up here. and uh, But I think that looks darn good. Yeah. I'm glad I saved those feathers. I was going to throw them away, but I'm glad I didn't. It, it just goes to show you don't throw away anything. <laughs> All right, be right back. I'm using my... Uh, a little electric lighter. It's uh, by T O M O L O Tom Tom Tomolo. Anyway, I got it on Amazon. It's a matchless lighter. Let's see if it is it fully charged. Yeah. Anyway, you just put it up next to the uh, thing, and the, there's a little spark that goes in between these two uh, posts and that's what lights your fire and now I'm going to try to uh, weld that stuff together by just putting a little bit of this uh, clay this uh, 
super sculpty into the fire and then just rubbing the clay on the uh, sphere next to the uh, feathers and try to make this look like it hasn't been melted. <laughs> that looks good, actually. Okay, I'm just going to try to put a little more detail into the uh, welded part. And blend it into the uh, clay that's on the fondue stick. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Well, I have started to paint this spear. And what I did was I took some clay to a local hardware store and had it matched the color match to the clay so that I could uh, paint uh, foreign materials that don't look like our my clay uh, to look like my clay. I had this indoor paint ma uh, made up and it uh, dries flat finish. Yeah, I don't want it glossy because uh, glossy isn't what the clay is. Clay, clay is flat finish. I took uh, the wire and I curly cued it at the bottom and then put it at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to put it in this flame. Let's see if I can get a full view of it here. In the flame here. And let that heat up just enough so I can press it down into the back of the shield. And that should be all I need to do. Because this clay, this super sculpty, when it stiffens up, it gets it gets uh, really hard, and then when I paint it, it'll even be harder. So let's see how that works. I know it seems like I'm spending inordinate an inordinate amount of time on one thing here, but it's all got to come together, and it's all got to work. Now, of course, the wire is not going to be cast. That's just to hold it in place so that the clay doesn't fall off of the uh, arm of the uh, warrior while it's uh, on show. Now I'm going to try to see if I can get this to go into the clay. I think I'll just hold in my hand. I'm going to do an eagle. On the shield. Okay, that's a perfect size right here. And so I'm just gonna put four circles. Or maybe, maybe seven. Each shield was uh, made because of a, a vision or a dream, and uh, that's what I'm doing. All right, now the next thing is to paint it. And I'm afraid this is all I'm gonna do today because it just took forever to get this uh, figured out and get going on it. All right. The paint actually shows the uh, design a lot better. All right, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. I'm, I'm satisfied with it this day. Good day. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.